What's up, guys? This is Mike from Nerf Productions 5, and as you guys can probably tell, it's been a while since I did an unboxing video, so today I'm going to make one. But just a quick uh, story about this. I was looking on eBay, and I was trying to figure out if I could find a gun that was cheap and I could use to mod to show you guys how to mod it, make it look cool for our next videos. And I found this for, believe it or not, 20 bucks, but I'll explain as I open this box why it was 20 So, let's get to it. Alright, as you guys could tell, I covered the box, so wait, my name's not on it. Now, I ordered this probably a w almost a week ago, and I got it back today, which is really nice. Um, Alright, and there it is. And it comes in the original box, which is nice. Um, as you guys can see, it is the Nerf Stampede. Finally, I bought, got it. But I will explain as I open this why I got it for 20 bucks. Now, you're probably thinking why it's 20 bucks. I'll simply, I'm not going to tell you, but let's just, while we're here, before I even open the damn thing, let's take a look at the box if you guys haven't seen it recently. Um, nothing new, just the typical Nerf box, it gives you a big picture of what the gun you get, shows you the details you'll be getting, the magazines, and what makes this gun significant is it comes for the first time over the 18 dart clip, and you can stick down any gun that comes with it, which is nice for them to do. Um, you get a blasting shield, a bipod, and this thing's full auto, and it's the first time it's a full auto I guess you could call it assault rifle, because the Vulcan was the first electrical Nerf gun, but that was like a, a, a light machine gun. This one is a totally different situation. Uh, on the side, you get the kid holding the Nerf gun. Nothing on the bottom. Same thing over here, but the guy's got like a whole suit going. Same thing on top, on the sides. And now let's open this thing. So, yes, this is what I actually got. I just decided for 20 bucks, I only needed the blaster. And I decided to just get the blaster, which I got in the box still, which is incredible. I've never seen this before. Um, still has the strings attached. So I assume the person who bought this didn't even use this gun. Instead, they just took out the bipod, the shield, all the accessories, and just decided to keep the gun in place. Which, most people actually do surprisingly, others actually keep, don't even, they sell the products and keep the gun. So, like I said, I got this for 20 bucks, surprisingly. Nothing, no damage to it, no, as you guys can see, still the original strings are still attached here. Let me see if I can grab it. The original strings still on it, which is nice. So you could clearly tell the the owner, the previous owner, only needed the clips and the other stuff. And there's the actual gun. Let's get a nice view of this. A nice little. Let me set let's set us back up here. And here we go. Let me move you guys just a little bit. And here it is. Uh, first impressions of this gun with the. Uh, just the gun itself. Nice. Um, like I said, this thing actually takes three D, six D batteries, just like the Vulcan did. So it's gonna be very top heavy like this. But I plan to do is take that battery system out and just putting a nice six volt battery, uh, eh, nine point six volt battery, 
so that way it's lighter and it's easier. Um, another impression of this gun is I'm really surprised in how great condition this is for $20. I was thinking I would have to completely, there would be scratches like crazy. Well, there are a couple scratches if you guys want to look closely. Let me see if I can. But I could tell that this person who previously owned this was a kid of some sort and used it and then decided to sell it. Um, I'll show it right here if you guys see it. A couple of small little scratches or something. And if I decide to actually paint this a nice design, you won't even notice it. Um, this is actually a big gun for a kid. Like I said, just like the Vulcan, this is a very big gun. Um, as you guys can tell, there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six rails that you guys can use your little accessories on. A light, the bipod, the shield that it says the box came with, but it didn't. Sorry guys, uh, I just got a phone call before and I had to answer it. It was one of those important uh, calls, so I had to take it. Anyway, like this is a nice gun f just out of the box that I just got. Um, the box was in great condition. You could tell that it was like thrown around a little bit. So I don't really care about that. I just worried about the gun. So right now, I'll be right back. I'm going to stick a clip in here and the batteries and we'll see if this thing shoots. So I'll be right back. Hey guys, um, before we start uh, doing this, it's funny because I forgot to remind, mention that uh, I've actually had a pretty rough day today. And seeing this in the mail coming like three days early really helped my day go. So, I don't know, it was just something I just thought of and I thought it'd be funny. But, um, like I said, six D bolts in the back, which means if I hold it like this, it's going to... Yeah, see? Now, if I had a normal battery thing, which would probably be perfect, like over here or somewhere in the middle... It'd probably be balanced like this instead of fully back. Um, like I said before with the Vulcan, my first impression is if you drop this on your toes or your feet, it will hurt. If you smash someone in the face like that, it will hurt. But let's get to the shooting. Um, I got a full clip here. Five darts instead of six. I couldn't find any more. Deal with it. Like I said, I don't have the actual... 18 dart clips, so I'm using just the standard six uh, six clip, which really looks nice actually. Without the big thing, it looks nice just because it goes perfectly across. So that looks nice. But let's get to the shooting. I'll be shooting across over here, and let me see if I could get the gun. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. And there you go. 